In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create hyperlinks on pictures within uh, Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. So the intention here is that we're giving the user of the PowerPoint rather than a presenter, but somebody who, in this case, we're doing like interactive presentations where somebody would sit down and go through it on their own. Uh, or even if you're presenting and you just want to add some visual interest, we're going to put in some pictures into the presentation and then put links on those pictures to go to other slides or to go out to websites. So I'm going to come here to this little uh, title slide that I've created. I'm going to get rid of this little subtitle box. Just delete that really quickly. And then we'll put in just some basic um, clip art to hold the place for us. So in order to put in clip art, I go to insert. I'm going to choose clip art from my ribbon. And let's see, let's search for frogs, which is my default favorite searching term. Okay, then I'm just going to pull in a couple of clip arts here. Get them smaller so that they fit on my presentation. being too picky as usual. <laughs> there we go, let me get one more. All right. So I've got these clip art on my presentation and I'm gonna use those as links to other information. So this is kind of fun if you're creating a presentation and you want to have a picture of a house to link to a home page or uh, a picture of a um, of a frog to learn more about frogs, whatever it may be, you can use pictures to make this more visual and really cater to uh, what we know are more visual learners in today's society. So I'm going to click on my first little froggy here and I'm going to make him a link to slide one in my presentation. So just like we inserted the picture, we're going to insert a hyperlink onto this picture. So I go to the insert menu and then I come over to hyperlink over here. Now I can choose from an existing file or web page. So if I wanted to link to a Word document, an Excel spreadsheet, a PDF, etc., I could do that, or to a website outside of my presentation. Another option is place in this document, and that'll allow me to link to a slide in my show. Then I could create a new document to go along with it. If I wanted to create a worksheet or something, uh, or a PDF for people to link to, then I haven't done it yet. I would do that here. And if I wanted to have, maybe I had a little mailbox icon and I wanted it to link to my email address, I could do that as well. So in this case, let's just go ahead and link to slide one with this particular graphic. So I'm going to show you this process again. I click on the picture once to uh, select it. I go to the insert menu and choose hyperlink. Then I click place in this document and choose slide one and click OK. Now, one thing that I've noticed that people kind of uh, worry about, shall we say, is that if I go here in my edit view, so I'm in PowerPoint right now, if I go and click on this link, notice it's not taking me anywhere. So the thing that's really important to remember is that in order to test your links, you need to be in slideshow mode. So you come up here to slideshow, and then I'm gonna go from beginning here. And then if I click on my little frog, it takes me to slide one. All right, so I'll show you that process again. I click on my picture, go to insert because I'm putting something in my presentation, choose hyperlink, and I'm gonna link this one to slide two. Okay. Now, like I said, it is also possible to link out to a website, so I can show you that on this one here. If I click on my picture, it's the same process. Insert, hyperlink, and this time I would choose existing file or web page, and I could type or paste in a web address and click OK. Now if I go to slideshow mode to test my links, I can go to slide two, slide one, or out to the internet and that'll take a little bit longer.